achieved today, but our vessel is passing through rough sea today. So I don't think we'll be able to hold a very big party. Not that we were planning to hold a very big party like we did last Christmas anyway. But we are also arriving in port tomorrow. So we're just preparing food for the whole day until the night, I think. So we're just going to have a bit of a food trip as opposed to having an actual party. In any case, we will be quite busy by tomorrow once we arrive in port. So we need to rest and sleep early. I'm going to make rounds in the engine room as well just to verify and make sure that everything is in very good condition and prepared for any inspection that may come once we arrive in port. You know, it's better to have no issues with port state control early in the year, right? So stay tuned and I'll show you how we celebrate New Year this year. Our ship was headed for Shanghai, China and we got caught in a bit of heavy weather somewhere around Taiwan Strait. Adding to the fact that we will be arriving in port the next day, we weren't really in a festive mood. But it's New Year's Eve, so we still have to at least eat something special, right? After lunch, I went down to the engine room to make sure that everything's in good order for our ship's arrival. A ship is a 24-hour environment meaning there is always someone working on something, whatever time of day it is. There's no such thing as a day off even on holidays, because the ship is always on a schedule. So even during special occasions, there will always be a few who will not be able to attend because it's time for their duty, like these guys. Well, at least they still got their special lunch delivered, right? It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon and the sea is still quite rough, so we decided to have a little bit simple dinner. Well, not really that simple, but we decided to grill our food so it will not go to waste. Since we couldn't have a party due to the circumstances, we decided it would be best to have the food served like this so everyone could eat at their own pace. choose from the menu and it's all grilled to order. Although we had quite a mellow welcoming of the new year, we were still quite lucky since we still got to celebrate. Worst case scenario would have been spending the holidays in port and working overtime on cargo operation or maintenance. In our case, we still found some time after work to celebrate and welcome the new year, even in our own simple way. So on behalf of the officers and crew on board, I'd like to wish you all a happy and prosperous new year.